Hey guys, this is Marissa and welcome back to my channel, The Budgeting Wife, where we talk about budgeting tips to help you win with money. In a lot of my videos, you guys have seen my budget report videos, I share our food budget. And a lot of you guys are always asking me how we spend so little on groceries. I plan to do another video on that soon, walking you through all of it, but for today I'm actually doing some meal planning and grocery shopping, so I thought that it'd be fun to show you guys how I do meal plan and how I'm able to save money with that. So before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new i would love to have you as part of my youtube family and with that let's get into the meal planning for this week so just to start this off jacob and i it is just the two of us so it's just me and my husband we're just a family of two so and meal planning can be a little bit harder when you have fewer people there are things that i'm able to do to use ingredients a couple times in meals and that's one way that i'm able to save money also, I just got this Instant Pot for Christmas and I am super excited about it. So the recipes that I am going to be making, I plan to make all with the Instant Pot. I am so excited to be using this, you guys, to get meals like done so quick and easy um, during the week. So I have recently found this app. I got the Instant Pot for Christmas, um, like I said, but I found an app here called the Instant Pot app, and it has a ton of recipes that you can browse through, and it even has, you're able to select your favorites, so here I selected some of them that look good. So I found a couple of recipes here, and those are the ones that I'm going to be making, a few of them that I'm going to be making this week for our meals. So to start it off, I have my Erin Condren planner here, and um, this is where I will do some meal prep. And so I have it written down for each day of what we plan to eat. So here is December 29th, which is today. And so tonight I am planning to make yum bowls. So we live in Portland, Oregon, and there is this restaurant called Cafe Yum, and it is so stinking good. It's basically like Mediterranean-ish food. I don't even know if that's what you want to call it. But it's basically beans and rice, and they have this super special sauce, and it has a bunch of other toppings on it, and it is so good. But you guys, I kid you not, it's like seven bucks to go get it, and it's literal beans and rice. So I often just make it at home, and I haven't made them in a while, so we're definitely going to be doing yum bowls here tonight. And then I also have it extending into Sunday for dinner, so we'll eat leftovers for Sunday. So yum bowls, I need beans, rice, yum sauce, sour cream, shredded cheese, avocado, and cilantro. Okay, now to look at the other meals that we have. So I look at my week and see if there's anything else that I have coming up that we won't um, need food for or if we have another meal covered. Um, so for the 31st, that one's going to be a little iffy because I think we may do some things for New Year's, so we probably won't be eating a full dinner. So I think I'm just going to do make some oatmeal in the Instant Pot. Um, so I found a steel-cut oatmeal recipe that I'm going to do there. We're doing family Christmas with my... Um, grandma like extended side of the family there and she makes this like huge after like late lunch thing so i'm don't think we'll be having dinner then and then on january 2nd this is our first day back to work after the holiday so i'm um, going to be making chicken tortilla soup and it's going to extend into leftovers as well so basically i just need chicken broth rice corn um, salsa, avocado, and lime, and that is what I use for my chicken tortilla soup recipe. And then moving into later part of the week on the 4th, which is Friday, chicken alfredo. So I need some garlic, chicken, heavy cream, parm, and noodles. And then this is also going to extend into leftovers. So that is the first thing I do is I try and find about three meals that I can make during the week and I really try to find meals that have similar ingredients so I can use them in a couple meals. Like for example, the chicken tortilla soup and the yumbles have a lot of similar ingredients with the avocado and um, also I'm going to put cheese on top of the chicken tortilla soup and we can put lime on it, salsa, um, all those sorts of things. And then also the chicken tortilla soup has chicken, and so does the chicken alfredo. So I'm going to use chicken for both of those meals. And then the chicken alfredo it has cream, heavy cream, which is what I'm also going to be using in the oatmeal. So therefore, I have a few ingredients that I try and put along different meals throughout the week. So I think that this is going to be plenty of food for us for the week. The next thing that I do is I check and see which ingredients I already have on hand. So I'm going to do that and then we will go from there. 
All right, so here's a look at our pantry. It is kind of a disaster. I need to reorganize it. But um, here I have some spaghetti pasta. So the recipe called for like ZD noodles, but we have tons of other noodles. So I'm just going to use that spaghetti. Also, we have, I forgot to write this in there, but we use sliced olives for the yum bowls as well. So we have those ready to go. Um, we also have some corn, but I like to use frozen corn in the soup. Um, just makes it super easy. Um, we have some kidney beans. I am not a huge fan of kidney beans, so I think I may get some black beans for the yum bowls. And then I will actually use these green beans. We don't have a side for the chicken alfredo, so I'll, I'll do some green beans for that. And I also found this for chicken broth, so that'll be good for the tortilla soup. Um, I think that that's all we'll need for the recipe as well. Okay, so now I am simply just going to go through what I have listed for each recipe and see how much of each thing I will need. So first we have yum bowls, and so we have rice, beans, yum sauce, sour cream, all those things. Okay, so I have plenty of rice. I have a like 20 pound bag of jasmine rice, so I'm just going to use that. Beans, I do need black beans. And then I do need to go get yum sauce, so I'll have to run to our local cafe yum and get that. I have sour cream in the fridge, so that is good. I have Mexican cheese, so I'm just going to use that instead of getting more shredded cheese. That'll be fine. Okay, and then I just need avocado. And since I'm getting avocados for the um, chicken tortilla soup, I think I'm going to get two avocados. Jacob doesn't really like it, so I will eat plenty. And then cilantro. And then we have the olives, like I said. Okay, so then the next recipe. So the oatmeal, I need steel cut oats. I definitely don't have that. And then we have brown sugar. And I also have some frozen fruit that I just may thaw out a little bit and put in there. Um, I do need heavy cream. And again, I'm using that for the chicken alfredo. So we'll cross that off there, have that on the list. Um, and then moving to the chicken tortilla soup. I have the chicken set aside and I'll show you guys. So in our freezer here, I like to buy the rotisserie chicken from Costco. And um, we therefore take the chicken and we put it in baggies, we separate it out. Um, as soon as we buy it and we put it into single servings that we keep here in the freezer So I'm actually just going to use some of that to put in the soup It makes it really easy for doing recipes where you just throw chicken in soup So that is what I'm going to use for that as well as the chicken alfredo I think that it'll cook well in the instant pot so I'm not concerned Okay, we were a little light on broth. I think I may need a little bit more and um but I might just water it down a little bit because I only need like a few ounces more. So I don't think it's going to be worth it. We do have rice, corn. I do need to get frozen corn. And Jacob will also use that for his lunches. And then salsa, avocado, and lime. So salsa is what I use to flavor the soup. Um, it's actually really good. And then we already have the avocado here. And then lime. Um, I might get a couple limes because I love lime. Okay. Um, and then chicken alfredo. So we already have the chicken figured out, but I do need garlic. And then I need shredded parm. And then we already have the noodles figured out. So that's all I need. So that is my entire grocery list that I will need then for going to the store, getting everything that we'll need for dinners this week. For breakfast, um, I always do oatmeal. Jacob always does bananas and then he has like a snack later in the day. And then for lunches, Jacob has actually been using that chicken. He does his own like chipotle bowl kind of thing. Um, so that's what he uses. That's why we have all our chicken diced up and in single servings is because that's what he does for lunch. And then for lunch, I also do like a soup um, from Costco. So 
we already have our lunches all figured out and breakfast so it's just really dinner that i have to worry about planning so this is what i have set aside i have a couple more things to add to it of just random things that um we'll need and then i'll be headed to the store soon hello welcome today it's a new day i what? filmed half of this yesterday oh so we were supposed to go to the grocery store yesterday but we got lazy and we didn't do it so we're now on our way to the grocery store yes have we our list in hand marissa is driving the new car for the first time yes she's been driving it for about 10 seconds how is it it's good it's a lot fancier than my 98 camry for sure but so we will see you guys at the grocery store all right, we got all of our produce section, and now looking for some steel-cut oats. Okay, in the can section, looking for beans. Okay, guys, we are now home, and we got all of our groceries. So we went to Fred Meyer, which is our local Kroger, um, and we spent a total of $40.10, but we also spent like $10 of that was on Rain-X and um, contact lens cases. So we really only spent $30 total on food related groceries and we didn't go to like the cheapest place either. It was just Kroger. We went, didn't go to Walmart or, um, and we don't have Aldi, but I know a lot of you guys go to Aldi or we have Winco. That's a cheaper place but it's a little bit further away from us so we yeah this is what we got so i will show you everything that we picked up in this grocery haul okay so first thing we have here is all the produce and just a lot of bags so let me show what you what we got we got some bananas these are very green but today is saturday and jacob eats a banana every morning for breakfast for work so they'll have time to ripen we got two avocados. Um, they actually had some small ones, which were great. And the avocados were $2 for the two of them. And Jacob doesn't like avocado. I'm the only one who eats them, so those are perfect. Um, we also got two limes for the recipes that I was talking about, so those are good. We got a little bunch of cilantro here and then two cloves of garlic it was two for a dollar so that's how i had to buy them i don't need this much garlic but maybe i'll find some other recipe that i can use that for um my steel oats i found these organic steel oats that were actually on sale and these the organic ones were actually cheaper than just like the uh, what's the oatmeal guy quaker 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 oats so that's what we got we got two things of everything bagels. Um, we eat bagels on the weekends for breakfast. That's like our little morning breakfast thing. Um, and I would usually only get one, but it was buy one, get one free. So I guess we were buying two and I'll put one in the freezer. Then to move into canned food here, we have two things of pinto beans, which is what Jacob eats in his lunch every day for work. And then I got some red beans for our yum bowls um, later today. And then we have some olive slices. This is what Jacob uses in his lunch and that we'll also use in the yum bowl meal. And then the dairy items that we have here, we have um, milk, and we aren't huge milk drinkers. Only Jacob drinks milk. I don't drink any. So that will last him all week. We have some shredded cheese. I know I wasn't going to get some, but then Jacob needed some for lunch. So I just got a whole thing of that. Um, we also got some shredded parm. That's for the pasta dish that I'll be making. Then we got some salsa. Um, and this is for the soup that I'm making. So that's what I use to flavor the soup, which is really good. This is our favorite kind of salsa. And then some heavy cream for the oats as well as the pasta dish. Oh, and yesterday I did go to Cafe Yum to pick up the yum sauce. So here's what it looks like. It's delicious. So here's what the bowls look like. They're pretty good. Um, so I do have the yum sauce and this was I think like $5. So that'll last us for quite a while. So that is a look at our entire grocery haul. Um, we were able to get a lot of things for $30. And again, this wasn't anything that was difficult. I didn't go to the cheapest grocery store place, but I am able to feed us here mostly for $30. We did get a couple things at Costco. Um, but so I try to stick around $50 a week for groceries and it's something that we're easily able to do. Um, I just try and buy things that are more store brand that 
helps cut down on costs of using like the Kroger cheese instead of Tillamook, even though we are in Oregon. So Tillamook cheese is our fave. Um, but just things like that of using store brands really helps. Um, so yeah, that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this grocery haul. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new. And leave me a comment down below and let me know if you're interested in seeing more grocery haul videos. I'd definitely be interested in showing that more if you guys are interested in watching. So let me know about that and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.